today's review is the Schleich 2015 Giganotosaurus figure. As you can see, it has a really cool paint job, a nice sculpt, and I got this at Walmart for like $25. They're starting to sell these at Walmart along with the uh, Spinosaurus, but I haven't seen the Spinosaurus, only this guy. But as you can see, it has a really cool paint job. And the uh, patterning is similar to the uh, miniature 2015 T-Rex, as you can see. Uh, grayish blue, green, orange, and then uh, that peach color. See the head sculpt? S looks so much better than the original Giga uh, Giganotosaurus. And it looks more intimidating than the other one. I like to think of this one as a male and the uh, 2011 version as a female. And unlike the uh, 2011 one, which was hard rubber, this one's solid plastic. And I thought this one would be rubber, but it's actually hard plastic. And, and you see, like their other Jigging on the Source figures, has spikes going down the back, and they're painted white this time. And the top of the body, you can see how thick it is, and how thick the tail is, too. <coughs> And also, uh, you can move the jaw too. And there's a nicely detailed mouth. The tongue is detailed too. And for the inaccuracies, this in one inaccuracy is uh, that that wrist is pronated. The tail is curled because all dinosaurs have <coughs> stiff tails and they cannot curl it like that. And the other inaccuracy is the spikes looks like a dragon. And then the uh, skull is too wide too. And also the eyes are like way above, like they're too high on the head. Alright, this still is a really nice model. I still recommend you picking it up. Online is a little cheaper, like Amazon, because it's 15. But I just went to Walmart and pick pick up mine because I'm sort of impatient. I don't want to wait at all. Okay, let's scale him up to other dinosaurs. Here's the uh, original Giganotosaurus. As you can see, the new one is slightly larger. See the head sculpts. And the horns on here. This one just looks better than uh, this one. And the thickness of the bodies. Next up is the uh, miniature Giganotosaurus. As you can see, they both look like very different because this one's really thick, but this one's really thin. Here's the uh, smaller T Rex. As you can see, uh, both of these have the same patterning, including the spikes, too. Here's the uh, Therizinosaurus. I always like to make the uh, Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus fighting a lot. And lastly, here's the uh, Carnotaurus. I think they're pretty much in scale, but Carnotaurus should be a little smaller. Not sure if this one's in scale, because this is like a young Carnotaurus. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, final thoughts on this figure. I wish they hadn't curled the tail, but I know Schleich uses a lot of trippet stance for their figures, such as their, you know, newer Dil uh, Dilophosaurus. Also, the pose is mid-stride, too. Like, he's stepping on the ground or stomping, looking for some prey. But yeah, I'll just give this guy an 8.5 out of 10. I think I prefer the Spinosaurus a little more, but this guy is still great. So, next review will be uh, of the uh, newer Dilophosaurus, so stay tuned for that review. Now, and the uh, next like figure I might be getting in the future will be the... Di the Dimetrodon, then the uh, Dunkleosteus figure.